Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So you just received a five paragraph essay assignment. And while that can be really daunting from the start, I'm gonna teach you about the bing, the bang, and the bongo. Because really, this is all you need to know about how to write a five paragraph essay. It will help you take any topic and have it organized into a beautiful essay from start to finish. So again, I know five paragraphs seems like a lot. However, with the bing, the bang, and the bongo, all you really have to think about are three body paragraphs and an intro and a conclusion. So hopefully at this point you know that an essay is a group of paragraphs that explain a main idea. So your main idea for this essay, if you look at your interaction essay directions and rubric, are you are answering one question. And that question is, using evidence-based research, evaluate the interconnectedness and interaction between humans and their environment and the implications of their relationship. So as we mentioned in class, this is a fancy pants way of saying what are the issues that come up with humans and the environment interacting. You're going to explain why there's a problem and explain why there may or may not be a solution to the problem. So you're going to find research to support your claims. When you have that research, all you have to do is organize it into the bing, the bang, and the bongo, and you are all set. So we can use the bing, the bang, and the bongo to write any five paragraph essay. You will really love me, even though you hate me now, you will love me in eighth grade and high school when you already know how to organize an essay. You could take any topic. So for example, if I were to write an essay on why social studies is the best class of all time, my introduction paragraph might say something like, of all the classes one could take at South Middle School, Ms. Coleman's 7th grade social studies class is the greatest. There are several reasons why students would choose her class as the best in the school. Students in this class learn about world geography in a fun way, get to work on various projects throughout the year, and are loved more than they know. It is truly the best class in the building. So you'll notice part of one of my sentences in there is highlighted. This is my thesis sentence, and you guys should already have a taste of what this is from language arts. If you have forgotten what this is, we'll review it as we go. But this is basically, in a nutshell, in one sentence, this tells my reader what this entire essay is about. So if you take that first part that's highlighted, learn about world geography in a fun way, you could maybe make an inference that that's going to be my first body paragraph. This is my being paragraph. So all of the stuff in this paragraph is about why students learn about world geography in a fun way. One reason why Ms. Coleman's social studies class is the best class at South Middle School is that students learn about world geography in a fun way. During class, students have the opportunity to discuss and share together, which helps them learn information. I put a one there because that's a first detail. Another way students learn about geography is through the use of exciting video clips, presentations, and guest speakers. That's the second detail. Students use various tools such as textbooks, maps, and internet resources to learn different information about each region of the world. That's my third detail. Now your paragraphs can have more than three details, but a good paragraph should have a minimum of three supports to the statement that you're making. So my second paragraph, this bang paragraph, this is all about my second piece of information, which is various projects students work on throughout the year help lead to why this class is the greatest. So this paragraph starts, another reason why Ms. Coleman's class is one of the best in the school is because of the various projects students work on throughout the year. So as you continue to read through that, you'll see I have three points that I'm making to various projects that support my claim that students work on these projects throughout the year, which is why my class is so awesome. So the bongo is my third body paragraph, and if you remember from my thesis statement in my introduction, my final claim that I was making is that students in my class are so incredibly loved. So the details in here are going to support the fact that students are loved. I talk about how students can stay after school so that I can give them time and attention. Um, we plan fun activities. We do grade checks. So all of these things support that statement. And then when you get to the fifth paragraph, all you have to do is wrap it up. So you kind of say what you've already said in the introduction, maybe just reword it a little, and you definitely restate your thesis. So in conclusion, many students at South Middle School would agree that Ms. Coleman's 7th grade social studies class is the best around. 
Students in her class learn all about world geography in interesting ways, produce meaningful and fun projects throughout the school year, and have a teacher that loves them very much. There really is not a better class in the entire school. So you'll see the highlighted part of my thesis and my conclusion. It's a little reworded. It's not exactly how I wrote my thesis in the first paragraph, but it's, it means the same thing. The sentence means the same thing. So when you put it all together, look at that. We have a five paragraph essay. Super easy, right? You can do it.